looks like uh, fireballs in the air that explode. Cars blowing up before uh, the fire even gets near. Uh, it's um, unprecedented. We've had, um, you know, lots of life uh, at our little community and um, we're all devastated by this. heartbreaking to come along here and the fence lines just littered with animals that have tried to get out and uh, they've broken through the fence here trying to get through and look at this it's just it, it's disturbing it is really really disturbing that is just such a waste begin with the chaos in Puerto Rico, a 6.4 earthquake and multiple aftershocks rocking the island just a day after a 5.8 earthquake destroyed multiple homes. This was felt across the island, the most powerful earthquake yet, followed by a swarm of at least 11 more. Our volcano has now entered a magmatic eruption phase. Last night it was a phreatic phase where there was lots of steam and ash. Now there is lava flowing from the volcano. Now the other major risk that the scientists are saying is that there could be a volcanic tsunami. More than 1,000 people were injured. Many others are feared trapped. In the immediate aftermath of the quake, panic and confusion as first responders rushed to the scene, saving whoever they could. By sunrise, the scale of the disaster was clear. Neighborhoods devastated, homes flattened by the sheer force of the quake. Rescue teams worked in near freezing temperatures. <laughs>
Africa is suffering from one of the worst locust outbreaks in the continent's history. For the locals, the infestation means much more than just having to stay indoors. They've eaten everything, farmers complain, brought to the brink of desperation, with their plantations left barren, people facing famine by the voracious swarms of insects, swarms larger than cities. At least 16,000 people have been displaced by floods across seven regions of Madagascar in recent days. Roads linking northwestern parts of the island to the rest of the country have been washed away. The government has declared a state of national emergency. The problem is food. There isn't enough because their houses have been damaged. The food and everything else is in the water. They left everything behind. The main thing is to survive. China's war against coronavirus is being waged around the country as it spreads to every province and territory. So far, the virus is winning, with the number of infections and deaths growing by the day. There's not enough medical personnel either, which the government is trying to address by sending thousands of extra doctors and nurses, both civilian and military, to Hubei.